We wanted it to have a social component, let's say, and when we started thinking of who could make excellent hummus, just like the one our grandmother makes back home, we thought of Syrian refugees being resettled here in the US, and we thought, why not have them bring it and share it with New Yorkers? Around the age of nine, I lost my uncle to gun violence in Brownsville, Brooklyn, where I'm from. I thought then to take some of that kind of like art interest that I had and, and use it uh, in the architectural profession to change some of that public space. Our definition of social enterprise here at the business school is using business skills, management skills to address social and environmental issues. Eat Off Beat delivers authentic meals that are conceived, prepared and delivered by refugees resettled here in New York City. The mission of Made Brownsville is to uh, increase access to STEAM professions for young people uh, in Brownsville, Brooklyn. The role of the Tamer Center is really to do four things. It's to provide curriculum. So we have courses, primarily for MBA students. We have what we call experiential learning, which are programs that allow students to actually get involved in activities in, in the real world. Uh, we have research, and we have alumni activities after they graduate. So at Eat Off Beat, we have three main goals. The first is to provide quality jobs to talented home cooks who happen to be refugees by status. Uh, the second is to kind of build bridges between them cooking at the kitchen and New Yorkers eating their food and loving their food, <laughs> hopefully. Uh, the third is really to change the narrative around refugees and kind of show a different story. Flip the table. The hosts become the guests and the guests become the hosts. So I started Made in Brownsville uh, with the hopes of, of creating a apprenticeship that allowed for young people to gain marketable hard skills in STEAM professions um, and apply it to actual projects with real clients that they could uh, build portfolios and make them competitive for the, for the workplace and, and for schools even. What Made in Brownsville is trying to do at, at the core is to be the people that we needed growing up to make that linkage for young people so that the opportunities that are out there for them are, are made available. My personal experience of working on Wall Street for over 25 years made it clear that in order for a business to be successful, it needed to listen to the needs of its clients and change with the times. The Tamer Center is an extremely important part of Columbia's effort to stay relevant and to stay focused on solving social problems using scientific, business, and entrepreneurial methodologies. The Tamer Center has been really instrumental in helping us to uh, build out our vision, um, particularly in this kind of early startup phase where we, we need things like an infusion of capital, but also to build a, a, a board. And so they've, they've helped to connect us through the recruitment event um, to some really amazing people here in the Columbia Network that we probably wouldn't have had access to otherwise. It was mostly, you know, the validation of knowing that the center knew what we were doing, that they believed in us and that they had our backs. Uh, that alone gave us a tremendous push and kind of helped us keep going uh, and probably keep going in the right direction. We are looking for ventures that will continue to operate three to five years from now that will be successful. How great their impact will be, whether they change one person's lives or thousands or millions of lives, we don't know. But we, all we, what we do focus on is that those ventures are what we call uh, sustainable, that they will continue to operate and continue to have impact in the future.